Hey there YouTube, my name is Tyler and I am Mr. Game and Beer and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition Co-op with John and Jason. Hi. Hey. Alright, so we've figured out a bit of a game plan here, at least just for this first uh, area. We'll go to the spell, or uh, to the inn, the Mithrest Inn, I suppose. Then we'll go to the Adventurer Mart, right here. And then we'll go up to the spell store and then we'll just kind of uh, check out the rest of this area here. Alright, to the Mithrest Inn. It's a date. No, it's not. Jason, date stop me. saying that. I'm not going to date you. It's a date. Isn't this place lovely? <laughs> it's probably best left to me. What's up, Largo? Count Clayton. Largo. Largo. You be looking a might out of a place, boy. That brings you above your station. Found a gold mine? Um... I'm just looking for information on the Shadow Thieves. Are you now? Can't say I know much about them. Hopefully they don't know too much about me if you take my meaning. <laughs> <laughs> I hear, though, that if you want to deal with them, you have to go through the Blood Scalp himself. Frighten its prospect, that. But if anyone has a real power in this city, it's them. Okay. Thanks, Lardo. Yeah. You gonna read that there, John? No. Take my advice, though. As a man of limited wisdom, watch your back. There's more friends of the Shadow Thieves floating in the land or river than these days than enemies. So they say. So they say. So it sounds okay, like they're sir. in a bad spot. What's up, Count? This seems awful classy. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. So I said to the Baron, honestly, sir, you must learn to control yourself. <laughs> Really? You're so brave. I'm glad that ended him. <laughs> so brave. There's a nice piano in here. Gee whiz. What's in this door? I take no pleasure in speaking to one as low. Far too many beggars about these days. Raise the taxes and force them to work, I say. Alright. Mm. It's just a kitchen. Pudgeney. You don't even need to talk to the cook? Oh. Got Lardo and Pudgeney. <laughs> Good tidings to your young wayfarer. Welcome to the Mr. Mithrestin. How might I be of assistance? I wish to peruse your selection of services, if I may. Certainly, sir. Pudgeney is not... Like, it doesn't fit here very well. Wait a second. It doesn't look anything like Lardo. Royal rooms are twice as expensive here than in Baldur's Gate. What the F? What? We'll take one. No! They still have mice. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed. Mice are on the like home. Time. That's true. I know better than most. Uh, Anyone try to loot this room? Oh, What's that? The cook, the cook will have at you. I'm waiting. Yeah, you don't want to mess with somebody who works oh, no. with knives for a living, John. Oh, there's a gem in here, though. What kind of gem? Door. A fancy one. How about it, John? I got it. I'm next door in the den of the take, seven veils, by the way. Can't take it. My inventory's full. <laughs> I'll see. Mint's got it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna talk to Alateo, Alatello de Benito. Hello there. Hello there. Hello, hello. Welcome to. Uh, what time is it? It's afternoon. And welcome to the afternoon showing of talents of Alatello de Bonito. A rousing wave of indifference from the crowd yet again as well. If I let such things bother me, I would have a given I would have given up the stage years ago. As per the wishes of most of my audience, unfortunately, at least the occasional dwarf applauds. Well doesn't swear and leaves anyway. Mm, let's see. A tale of familial woe at tantalize your tears and tempt your time and interest. Ahem. Ahem. Oh no. Raised to spells and casting well, but always wanting better. To sing of nights and days of yore. To leave the robes that that fetter. A wizard prone to song and prose, though oft accused of failing. I shall sing despite the odds. Where you shot Where you your shot bloody, bloody wailing? wailing. <laughs> the crowd is so mean. <laughs> well finished, Mrs. Petrica. Patricia. 
You have a fine ear for rhyme, though I would hope you'd be more supporting of your employees. Oh, go for it, Jason. I support you sticking to spells and figures. You're a security and a financial advisor, not the entertainment. Hit the road if you want a forum for your singing. Oh, very well, Mrs. Patricia. Thank you for your indulgence, indulgence this far. Jeez. Or Alatello. <laughs> That's rude, Patricia. Mm. Where are you guys? We're in the den of the Seven Veils. I've got a guy oh, up door. top. We didn't even rest in this inn. Oh, no, we didn't. Smaylove Orc Slicer. Maylove Orc Slicer? Smaylove. Smaylove. I'm sorry, we uh, rested? Oh, How come we have no... What happened here? Mankar Pebble Crash was talking to us. Okay. Ha! If it daren't be a puny gnome, dressed up as a mighty adventurer, I'd say. Har har! Did your mama let you out from under her skirt, little one? Best to be running back now. Fuck you. <laughs> That's really rude, Mankar Pebble You just Pebble met him, Crash. Jason. Treat him nicely. Ha! That'd be a good jest, Menkar, my friend. <laughs> a good jest, says Smelly. A good jest, he says. <laughs> Come on, you telling your stinking fat smelling imp to stop calling me Smelly. The name of Small Love Orc Slicer. If he does it again, say it again, I'll smash him into impish goo. Papa, Papa, Smelly's threatening me again, he is. Threatening. Come, Mr. Pookie, as for you, you barbarian knucklehead. Threaten my familiar once again, and you'll spend the rest of the evening as a toad. Am I understood? What? You dare dis besmirch the honor of smell of orc slicer? I will... Enough, blast it! I tire of your bickering. Now, as for ye, little gnome, you'd best take yourself somewhere where you're more welcome. This bar be big enough only for us, and nay more. Watch it, dwarf. I'll not take your insults for long. You'll take whatever I have to give you. Come, my friends. <laughs> Let's teach the whelp what it be to cross Menkar and his band, eh? Have it, ye. Good luck, guys. Herbert. -er. Wow, uh, we don't have rest until fully healed on. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that I was like, why are we? Oh well? shit! <laughs> fireball. Hi. Um, entangle. I'm waiting. Wow. Entangle. You're in yeah, sorry, guys. Oh, you know how this awful that sounds. Bar. <laughs> no, we don't have a tank at all. Somebody used barbarian rage. Yeah, and berserk. <laughs> shield. I've got three AC. You guys upstairs? I'm here. Get up here, John! Oh. Yoshimo's confused. Several people are. Like half our party is. Half the party. Oh, Jihira is not a great place. Jihira is. Oh, this has gotten way worse. <laughs> oh, Minsk is dire charm. Yeah, he's also hitting me. Oh. Oh. We got two dead. <laughs> the one that can also raise dead. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Maybe if our gnome didn't go around picking bar fights. <laughs> Maybe if dwarves are such racist cocksuckers. That's it. I'm not dying for your simple stupidity, Menkar. Brennan Rizzling has better things to do than court your arrogant pride. Oh, he got away. <laughs> <laughs> Not before killing two more party members. Okay, it's time for a load. Come on down, Jonicus. Come along, Bonicus. John. John, 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 John. Come along. Omnian guard. Are we in arm? Arm. Oh, oh no. no. We're down here, John. Rest until healed. There we go. Hello. Hello. Um. Oh, lovely, yet another member of the male species come to drink himself into a stupor, no doubt, and vomit upon me perfectly clean floors. Hmph. <laughs> what be it exactly that you want? Um, services, please. Service me. 
That's fine, but I take your coin up front, and don't be wheedling me for a tab either, because I'll not be providing you with one. So we can rest noble here. Pretty lame. Is it, is it more reasonably priced? Yeah, it's ten gold. Rat was it's much the same worse. price. Um, I've got one spell. Wait, I turned on rest until fully healed, didn't I? Yeah, I'm still... Rest until healed. Done. Return the game. Well, let's rest again. That'll be double. <laughs> well, essentially, yeah. Right, there we go. There we go. Uh, I got one or two spells to cast, though. First of all, I gotta get me familiar back. <laughs> gotta get let's familiar. Fuck these guys up. Hello there, fairy dragon. You dragon's gay. Whoa! <laughs> That's not nice. Somebody? We're not reading that. Small really nice. dragon-like creature flutters its wings happily, looking at you with almost kaleidoscopic eyes. You me something? It <laughs> your attention, tail flicking. Uh, come here, I want to pick you up and put you in my pack where it's a bit safer. Its eyes brighten and it practically leaps into your arms, ready to be stowed amongst your belongings. Where it can sleep and occasionally poke its head out. Ah, oh, he's not flush against the end wall. I hate this. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, Jesus. Right okay, I got one. Yeah, put a knife into the bag a couple times until you find him. A couple more little dailies to cast here. Oh, yeah. We can go upstairs and F these guys up after. Oh, well, I mean, I'm sure. going to cast buffs before we go upstairs. Oh, you're gonna cheese it, John? Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to avoid at this point, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm ready to go. I'm waiting. Do it. Here, I'll cast two. Oh no. Okay, fine. We'll go upstairs. They don't automatically attack when we go up, anyway. Well, Give me some directions. Okay. Yeah, I'll see to it. I'll give us a chant and uh, remove fear. And that's it. <clears throat> and Jason, you're gonna bombard that place? Yeah, sure. There you go. Alright, let's go. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Uh, watch the dwarf. You're a bastard. <laughs> you're a real son of a gun. Okay, I'm throwing in a skull trap. Okay, I'll wait outside then. Yeah, you, you better do that, John. Oh, uh, yeah. Apparently. Somebody coughed a potion. Yeah, their stupid uh, thief keeps going invisible. Classic thieves. Hey, Yoshimo, why don't you backstab this asshole? Somebody got confused. It was Minsk, I think. Yeah, big surprise! Everybody take a drink. I think I got entangled, actually. Oh, yeah. That dude's berserk. Oh, wow, the skull trap just went off. Well, it did something, at least. Yeah, it blew uh, Yoshimo in. Well, I guess it didn't do too much, actually. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yoshimo, want to come save me? Oh! Nope. Uh -oh. Yeah, Jahira just got uh, backstabbed. So this thing? Is she? Yep. Minsk is humping the wall. Oh, hopefully he's still doing it on the screen. Oh, the pause screwed it. Hey, Yoshimo, all you gotta do is just walk up and backstab that guy. And now you're just. You're stuck? Are you entangled? Oh, jeez. Is that not dying for you? Blah, blah, blah. He ain't talking to me. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh yeah, he just runs away. Got away. Let's say we try again until we can get armor. armor. I can, uh... Rezo John. What's that? You hear I can Rezo John. That's, uh... Oh, I think we should uh, try again until we get that rogue guy. The first guy? I feel like he might just Wait, run away as soon as the folks die. Yeah, but I can cancel. First it out of him. Yeah, we can get him. We have the power. Man, I wish I had some darts. Oh 
God. Entangle is so annoying. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so what do you guys think? I don't know, it's up to you. Depends how bad you want that thief stuff. I, will require I don't know, I don't even know what he has, but I don't like the idea of him just getting away on us, you know? I feel like it's scripted that he gets away. Think so? Yeah. I don't think it is. Okay, well. So you don't want to try for it? I'm down for whatever. You're down for whatever. I carry two. Do what you want, Archer Dartman. Your items it's your path. <laughs> uh, what do you think, John? Hmm. Yeah, it's whatever. Okay. Yeah, you guys are real helpful. It's done. I, like, I'm sure we'll find better stuff, unless he's got, like, some crazy unique thing that we just don't know about, but... Yeah. Well, I don't know. If nothing but I mean, like... I would hope. The only thing that I think right now is that we need money. Mm, that's true. Did you save right before the stairs? I sure didn't. Uh, I'm kind of against it then. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It looks like this was armor? supposed to be a door over here. Full plate mail. Oh, yeah, weird. Yeah. There you go. There you we go. got some full plate mail. Yeah, and I tossed a uh, magic two-handed sword to somebody. Yeah. I forgot to... Or I didn't uh, get the... The spells. Oh, gotcha. The identifying. To identify and it's scoring. beyond my... Beyond your ken? Beyond my ken. Yeah, um, I just tossed you a cloak of non-detection. Well. Give me some I'm there. Go. So you got that back. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to cast that. <laughs> I'm waiting, oh dang huh? it! Dude, are we just gonna rest here again, or should I just like heal myself? Yeah, you can use some spells. Oh, 213 gold in this chest. Wow. She has 212, and then a stack of one as well. Oh, nice. Put all your, all your eggs in one basket. Oh. Don't put all your gold in one pile. Thank you, sir. All right, so where's next? Adventure Mart. Adventure Land. Was that the? Uh, yeah, that's the. Galoom. That's the, the agenda. Yep, yeah, I think I'll pass Galoom. 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 You're talking about the kid from Willy Wonka that got stuck in the pipe? No. Gloop? I don't remember his name. Gilbert That's probably Gloop. Welcome to the Adventure Mod. We have Where all the, the equipment you need. What's up, Hawker? Step right up! Step right up! Come, enter the Adventure Mod. Behind me, you will find all the equipment any adventurer needs. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> A good day to you then, sir. This way, John. Over here. Whoa. Try anything stupid. Watch it. Yeah, sure, Omnian soldier. Hey, we must be an Om. An Om? Drive all Bartman at your service. My adventure mart is the finest shopping in all Farron. Widest selection, lowest prices, and never a fancy illustration. Just the goods, bare and plain. Yes, there are some items we're interested in. Music to me ears. There's a customer born every minute and a rube soon after. What'll it be for you today? You should tell it to me after, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting. Oh, you idiot. You shouldn't shop this here. This guy doesn't buy any of the stuff I have. This is a painting of one of a group of young adventurers from long ago. This one a ranger, all of whom were attempting to return to their homeland far away. Word has it that they died horribly at the hand of a dragon Tiamat. Um, Jason? Yeah. Do you want a voice to hear? Oh, sure. Greetings to you, good sir. I trust all is well. It is. Well enough, Mr. Hira. You'll not bring harp or trouble to my doorstep, good lady. Might I remind you that my days of involvement with your kin are long over? I am not here in an official capacity, suspicious one. There is no need to worry. With your kin, there's always a need to worry. But I should mind my manners. Please excuse me. 
Rob Alberman at your service. My wrench music to me ears. <laughs> music. Rob all music. Music. People. Somewhat haughtily, Lucy turns away as you approach. The wyvern ignores She's you. Haughty. That's rude, Lucy. Fuck you. Wow, this guy's got braces of AC3. What's up, Deidre? Uh, Thank you, good customer. A pearl to you. Jason? Rod of Resurrection. Greetings, adventurer. I am Deidre. I'm a member of the Aurora's Magic Emporium and have access to a considerable collection of magical treasures. Would you be interested in taking a look at my wares? Yes. Wow, oh, this is not cheap. <laughs> hey, she's got Baldurand's plate. And Baldurand's shield and Baldurand's sword. How'd you get all these? Bet she'd love that helmet. Oh, she's got the robe of Vecna. Oh, shit. And Valor's helm. Dang. So I bought a gem bag. Hmm. But so far, that's all that I can do with this guy. Is somebody else, like, gonna buy weapons from me? Oh, where do, what happened to all the weapons that I had? This helmet was worn by a mysterious warrior named Valor. The warrior was destroyed while helping a creature known as the Nameless One. Pass the shit you want to sell to Yorg. He didn't have it yet, because we had to reload. Oh, a lot of these are uh, Nameless One things. Who is this Nameless One? Oh, I think you know. Do you? No. Oh, he's, uh... I'm not selling a quarterstaff. The fuck's the point? He's Do the protagonist of, um... Uh... Planescape Torment. Oh, I played a bit of that. Anything else on other characters that we're selling? There's a regular spear here. Why is that in my inventory? <laughs> I have a jump. bunch of unidentified staves. But I don't know if they'll sell for as much as they'll okay, cost and to Yoshimo, identify. Are you going to keep all that jewelry on uh, cloud Yoshimo? Uh, oh, how yeah. much is this I'll one for, job. John? I don't know, Jason. I'm not in the actual guy yet. No, not in the guy yet. Else. Not in the guy? The is on the ground. I'm not talking to the guy yet. No, I can carry nothing else. Your item is on the ground. Why? Oh, okay. One second. <laughs> I think I broke the game. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Come on, sell the quarter staff. The wand of cloud kill. Jason, he can't sell the quarter staff, okay? Come on! I'm also not selling the spear that somebody gave me. What can we do to make your dream? Rob Ball Bartman, that's just music to my ears. Rob Ball Bartman, that's your ears. I think he changed his name to Barterman? Uh, I would imagine so, yeah. Oops. I think he was born a Barterman. Like I was born a Dartman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I gotta tell you, if anybody knows, it's me that, uh, you're just, you're born that way. Alright, we got 3,300 gold. Do we want to buy something here, or do we want to go to the main shop? Oh, does he have, like, a pair of glasses that just identifies everything for you? Oh, probably. three a day. I think so, yeah. Uh, is that something we're interested in, or nay? No, you should probably get that. Probably can't afford it yet, maybe. I, don't know. I think it might be a couple thousand. I mean, we could always sell these wands. I think one charge is just as good as 20, uh, 50 to... To sell? The stores. Yeah. Or do they actually scale them down? I have no idea. Um, the only thing is well, that... Well, the cloud wasn't worth much. What was it worth, 50? I think it was worth more than 50. But less than 100? I think it was worth more than 100. Yeah, well, it should be worth a, a ton. Thousand? It's, it wasn't worth several thousand, for sure. Another painting of a party of young adventures total. from long ago. This one, a diminutive barbarian. Rumor has it that this barbarian had a pet unicorn smaller than he. Also swallowed by Tiamat, it is presumed. Wow. These adventures. Are you in the shop, or...? Do I need to look for the glasses? I thought you were looking for them. I'm not in the shop, no. 
Okay, I'll do it. I thought you were shopping. I had sold all the stuff, so I just got out of it. All that matters is the deal. You got upset? <laughs> no. John, it's okay. <laughs> I'm so... I'm so frustrated. So frustrated. I'm John, and I'm so frustrated. So upset. I don't talk like that. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, but do we, do we save? Dude, it's the Ring of the Victor, guys. Which one's that? It's the one that does the stupid firebolt. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. It's also the Ring of Princes nice. here. Oh, uh, we'll find plenty of those, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> um. And oh shit! What? There's a girdle of hill giant strength without the negative to hmm. intelligence. Not that it really matters for you, John. You still can't read. Yeah, I know. But it's nice to know. <laughs> Point of pride for John. Keep that six. <clears throat> well, we can uh, keep yeah, that. Yeah, there was no. Um, keep that in mind. No glasses. Here. Hmm. Glasses of identification. No. I'm gonna talk to Rival myself. I don't trust you. Rival Bartman. I'm so glad I did this twice for you then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flare so plus two. You send a guy with six intelligence to look for something? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't have six intelligence, I have nine. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, Somebody took my belt. Grin. I thought nine was enough to read scrolls. Plus four staff. Oh, sorry, I have eight. Ah. Hey guys, do you think we could spare 22,000 gold? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if we have it, yeah. Good. Good. Did you mean 2200 or? Nope. Okay. This guy does not sell darts. Nope. Get the hell out of here. What are you doing? Come on, Ryan. There was a weaponsmith next door. Hmm. Oh, he sells some spells. Yes, this is an adventurer's guild or mart. So it sells all sorts of wacky shit. It's a oh. general store, essentially. Rod of uh, Resurrection. Hmm. Yeah, I saw that as well. That's 13,000. Fudge that. Yeah, it's charges. So we'll eventually run out of charges. Fudge you all. Oh my After we die crap. 50 times. Yeah, he sells this uh, the staff or wand of cloud kill back for 15,000, so. What <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I'll take that off, yeah. And then. So we should, what you're saying we is we should identify these wands and sell them to him so that he can make a pretty penny. Yeah, I guess so. You'll find no better what the hell's going on here? I guarantee you. Ah, Mahir thinks you are just the sort of customer he was waiting for. Perhaps you are interested in weaponry? Mahir thinks you are. I am interested. Have you looked at these two? Weaponry? Yes. What do you have These available? two are not the ones Ah, in. Mahir has all kinds to offer. Scimitars, swords, even iron weapons from the Stormhorn Mountains. Look at my wares for yourself. Do you make any special weapons? Mahir does not possess the craft to create weapons himself. There's a fine dwarven smith in the city who knows his skills. <laughs> Stellwood's name be Cromwell, my lord, and his shop is within the docks district here in the city. I will tell you one thing, my lord, but enough of my meanderings, yes? Perhaps you would like to look at Mahir's stock of weapons now. Sure, let's see what you have. Most excellent. Examine my wares to your heart's content, Kassad he, and I'm sure you will find nothing to displease you. Kassad means shithead. In uh, Callum Shamiz. Yeah, give me some directions. Don't Callum Shamiz. Examine my wares, shithead. <laughs> uh, he's got trash. Yeah. Is it just like basic Mundan gear? Trash. Mundane? Bunch yeah. of Mundies? Well, no, a couple of magic things. Darks plus one. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Who's Fergus? Must be done. Yeah, he's got magic, uh. Projectiles. Ah, uh, gotcha. Moose is gone. Up to plus two. But not for darts. What's up, Fergus? <laughs> Khalid? Hey! Oh, uh, oh, you startled me. Please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is the problem? The, the problem? I was in the circus tent and I got out just in time. It is Khalid. Just in time to save my life. <laughs> oh, it, it was ter terrible. Relax and tell me what happened from the beginning, friend. Well, I got to the, the by the tattoo of the target tamer. I was go going to put my show this morning, but it delayed because of a special performance. Do you think Khalid just like snuck out? He made a deal with. Uh, I would. 
with I Arrakis got, um, there. His body got snatched. Yeah, and he then was that like, guy got killed. give me a new body, Arrakis, and I'll just get out of here, and then Jahir will think I'm dead, and I'm just fine. I'll just run a circus like yeah. I've always wanted. Arrakis <laughs> felt bad for him. I don't know who the performer was. I was so mad about being delayed. You see, I stayed in the b back of the tent and prepared my tigers. The bodies began shifting right before my eyes. The tent was disappearing, but being replaced by things I had never seen before. I ran for the exit. I escaped you just in time. I'm the only one who came out, and no one who has gone in has come back. The things I saw... Horrible. I've never heard such a ridiculous story in my life. No! <laughs> it's the truth, I swear. Boo. So cold. This guy's clearly full of shit. Sounds like an idiot. So you should go check out his tent. I just can't believe Khalid just didn't want to hang out with us anymore. I think he got used to oh, life without weird. Jahira. Yeah. yeah. I can't hold it against him. Hey, you know what's weird? We didn't find Khalid at all in Siege of Dragon Spear. Yeah, Because he was like, already dead in Siege of Dragonspear. No, he wasn't. We left him... This is locked, Jason. He wouldn't talk to us anymore. Jason, I need you to open this. I'm not just going to open other people's shit, John. I need to know. Here's uh, Finesia. we got Finesia's home there. And we've also got the circuit's tent that Khalid was talking about. Give me some direction. Where's the circus tent? It's the, the big circus tent. Eduardo Jensen made this plane. Ooh. Flying machine of gnomish design. Hold! Oh, sorry. Hold, this tent has been closed off for your own safety, citizen. The circus has been closed until this matter is resolved. Uh, I'd like to go inside and check it out for myself. I'm sorry, citizen, but I'll not add you to my list of problems. We've lost a whole garrison squad in this tent, and I doubt you will be any better. Why? What's wrong with the tent? We are not exactly sure. There's no problem until the show was scheduled earlier this morning. Apparently the show began well enough, and then something occurred. Nobody has come out of the tent who went in for the show, and everyone we have sent in to investigate has not come out either. This tent is awfully small. Mm -hmm. What is there, ten people in there? Just jumping every single person. Foul project. magic is no doubt involved here. We are waiting for a cowled wizard to arrive, and they will be able to solve this, I am sure. I can handle myself. Perhaps I can solve this problem for you. I'm a bit of a deal. <laughs> Very well, then. I'll let's stop you if you wish to risk yourself, citizen. You were warned. It is no risks, not so long as we have swords and braveness to brim the tall glass of goodness, right? We should be careful, Archer Dunn. There's no telling what is going on within the city guard. You can't handle it. Be prepared for anything, is what I always say. That's not what you always say. I've never heard you say that before, Yoshima. What do you guys think? Something off about Yoshima? Yeah. He's lying. <laughs> You're lying to me, Mr. Yoshimo. You dishonor my family. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa! This is quite the tent. Yeah, it's a lot bigger on the inside. Aha! I see your wayfarer has come to amuse Kala. You must answer a riddle, naturally, and I will allow you to pass this bridge. Are you ready to hear it? And why would I want to pass over this bridge? Because it is symbolic of your progression to enlightenment and understanding, fool. Are you ready to proceed? I prefer to know who this Kala is before I play any of the games. Kala does not reveal himself to those who are not worthy. Are you ready to begin? Before I begin, tell me why I would want to pass <laughs> over this bridge. Because it is symbolic of your progression to enlightenment and understanding, fool. Are you ready to proceed? Very well, I'm ready. Excellent. A princess as old as the prince will where a princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of the present age. Which of the following then could be true? Okay. 
All right, let's think about this. This is just a math equation. Right? Where are my pens? All of my <laughs> pens are gone. Okay, so a princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was set up to some of their present age. So there's a doubling, a, a half. So a division of two. So princess is as old as the prince will be When the princess is twice as old as the prince was, when the princess's age was half the sum of their present age. Okay, the beer's not helping this one here. <laughs> no. <laughs> How old is the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of the present age? Aren't they just the, both the same age? No. Are you sure? That's not even an option. Oh, That's yeah. It's a lazy answer. Yeah, it is! <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like it's three, but I really need to. I need a three, pen. Three what? Three. Answer There's number no three. Option for three. Oh, Answer option number three. three, John. Option yeah. three. Uh -huh. There's no like... option for three. <laughs> There's no option for both the same age. <laughs> All right, John. I've had enough of your shit. Okay, I've got a pencil. That'll have to do. Okay. I don't even know how to write this out. Mathematically. So, the princess is 30. The uh, princess hey, yeah. is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of the present age. So, if she's 30, then half the sum of the present age will be 15. princess is... God, as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was the princess's age was half the sum of the present what the fuck <laughs> it's the phrasing right? <laughs> it makes no sense at the start oh man the princess people are yelling at us no doubt <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's yeah like well algebra. maybe you guys already know the answer but you know what? Have you been drinking beers along with us? Because <laughs> maybe you should. Or maybe you shouldn't. I don't know. It's hard Depends to say. on your age. Exactly. And where you live in the, the world. Princess. Yeah, well, maybe uh... you can drink beers when you're as old as we are, when we were twice as old as you, when you were half as old half as some us. Present age. Yeah. <laughs> can't be half the sum of the present age unless their sum is more or is a, a multiple of 20 okay so what you're saying is they're like but there's 30 in every answer so they're both the same age no way no no they're not aren't they no because <clears throat> like if, old. if wait okay <laughs> Princess oh, Prince will be Man, the, the Google search bar is so close. No, John. <laughs> I won't. It's twice as old as the Prince was. So Princess is as old as the Prince will be. When the Princess is twice as old as the Prince was, when the Princess's age was half the sum of their present age. So half the sum of their present age. Oh my god. I don't even know what he wants to know. Oh man. I think it's three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd probably just pick one. Then we'll just Princess deal with the consequences. Funny. Maybe I'll bring up. Just I'll bring up the calculator all the here. Math. Yeah, do all the math for every answer until we get one. All the algebra. Okay. Uh, so. Am 
my brain just farts right around when the princess is like probably in the middle of like the first part. Yeah, just, yeah. It's my brain just like flubs it all out. It's like that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I this still is, think it's three. Prince. Because because it's <clears throat> it's dealing with. I think it's essentially dealing in quarters or something. What is the principle being? How to deal in quarters? I don't know. It's doubling down twice, and then it's three. I don't know. I don't know. Let me. Twice as old. Which one's twice as old? The princess is twice as old? Okay. No, the princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of the present age. So, it's three of them. if a princess is 40, okay. Oh, jeez. Of their present age. Okay, so the present age, the sum, is 30, is 70, if the answer is three, right? And half of that is 35. And half of that is 35. And a princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was. When she was 35. Yeah, there you go. 70. Bam. I need, it's I need three. to put my it's head three. down on the bed. It's three. <laughs> Alright, click three. Jason's right. still not sure. Ah, you are correct. You got it. The medical eye respects those of the most agile and <laughs> quick mind. <laughs> Proceed across with my blessing. We did solve it in front of him. That's true. He didn't stop us. I'm waiting. What is it? <clears throat> yeah, it was the sum part that was messing me up. I just oh no, it was it. phrasing. <laughs> it was all phrasing. Oh, no, oh shit! There's a shadow. A shooter. It's a shooter. Oh no, it's a shooter. It's headed right for us. I don't want to fight that. Nice. The magic weapon has no effect. This weapon has no effect. Who killed it? Um. Probably Yoshimbo. No, it was a. Uh... Oh, a werewolf. Probably Minsk, actually. It was a werewolf. It was Minsk, yeah. Yeah, I think most of us have magic weapons, actually. I've got a plus two weapon. I have a plus one. You? Yeah, pretty good for me. Yoshimbo's got a plus Minsk one. All the way around. John's got a plus one. What's Minsk's uh, two handed sword that you guys found, by the way? That was the one that's ca the Sword of Chaos from Serva. Oh no, I just. Or I gave a, a two handed sword to. I guess I gave it to Jason, actually. Yeah, it hasn't been identified yet. Oh, okay, gotcha. I've got a scroll if we want to choose oh, something yeah. to identify. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, holy <laughs> shit. Get wrecked. <laughs> I'm running. Alright, good luck. You'd think if this thing went all the way around that there'd be something to find on the other end. I need backup. Yeah, werewolves. It's all the other end, though. I'm in like the opposite end of where we started. A fine hit, John. Yoshimo, uh, lead them right to him. He's gonna backstab one of them. Go help, Jason. I like Yoshimo a lot. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the tourists love that stuff. <laughs> oh man. I think one is circling around in the other direction. Plus, his uh, his backstabbing is really yep. on point. Also, these werewolves just wrecked all of my stone skins. Thank you, oh, they're illusions. Oh, yeah, we're not even getting experience for this. Well, the waste of time. Poor shit. Damn it. <laughs> you still get level drained. Yeah, what the Yeah, I got ability score drained. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, my strength is down to 17. Give me some direction. <laughs> Who are you? Whoever you are, you must flee this place at once. He's, he's killed everyone else who has come into this place. Almost. Oh, please, run. Uh... Who are you talking about? Who's killed everyone? Kala, oh, I don't know what he's done exactly or how, but everyone here, everything here is an illusion. But it's magic that can hurt you if you believe in it. Oh, you probably don't understand, do you? I, 
I don't know what he's done, or to the tent, or with the others who have come in, but their deaths are real. You must run. Hmm. Just who are you? How is it a monster has the voice of a young woman? I'm, I'm not a monster. I'm an elf. A winged elf. Or at least I was. This, this covering you see is some kind of illusion, but if you believe in it, then it becomes real. P please, believe me. Now go before something happens to you. I beg of you. Um, who's behind all this? Who's killed everyone? Oh, wait. Kala! <laughs> uh, I've read this. I'm not going anywhere until I get a full explanation. Oh, I hope you don't end up like like the others, but all right. My name is Aria. I work in the circus with my uncle Quail. Oh, Quail. I don't know exactly what happened, but everything changed a few days ago. Everything became chaos and turned into what you see here. Although it's... Although it all isn't real, it's an illusion. The minions, they all say they serve Kala, so I know he's behind all of this. He's an illusionist in the circus, but I don't understand how he was able to do all this. Yeah. He must be stopped before he hurts any more people. Please, if, if you release me from my chains, I can help you stop him. That sounds like a real bad idea. What chains? <laughs> I also don't see any. My chains are invisible, covered by an illusion, and they are magical. They prevent me from casting my own spells, and they maintain the illusion which is placed on me. Okay. Sounds like bullshit. <laughs> uh, very well, how do I release you from them? You you need the key of these chains, but, but I won't look like a key. There are a couple of commoners in the north side of this chamber. What the Looks fuck? Looks like a commoner? Don't be fooled by the illusion, though. They are monsters. They have a sword, which is actually my key. If you get it from them, I can remove the chain and regain my normal form. Ah. But please be careful. You you can't trust anything you see here. Quick, kill Archer Darman. He's an illusion. <laughs> no! <laughs> Not me! Should we cook save? Yeah, it's probably prudent. I also revealed a person. You're such a prude. A pleasure slave. Hey. Bless your slave. It's a spider. Hey, spider. Talk about spider. I am a simple woman. Please don't hurt me. Oh, what am I to do? You don't seem like any creature I've encountered before. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not a creature. Or at least I never used to be. Not until the circus and everything changed. Well, who are you then? My, my name's Hannah. I came to the circus with my son, although he didn't come into the tent with me. Oh, please help me. I'll try, but I must leave you for now. Oh dear. Watch out for those awful peasants. Don't let them hurt you. Yeah, I'm we always gotta watch out for the peasants. <laughs> yeah. Fucking plebs. Turn their backs on you. Fucking drop of a hat. It's true. I am here to serve. Welcome, Lord to Kala's realm. Be thee not of impure mind, for surely Lord Kala shall destroy thee. Be thee not of impure heart, or thou shalt wilt surely destroy thyself. Allah is the one ruler of the one true being. Hmm. I've come to see the circus, not some half-dressed tart spouting dire warnings. The circus is no more. Allah's power has Allah's power has removed its baneful influence. Question not, Lord Kala, mortal. Uh, who exactly is Kala? Kala's beyond thy ken, mortal. He is the beginning, he is the end, he is our god and our king. Tremble before him, and he may take pity on thee. Okay. I am my own person, and not this Kala's possession. Bow before the will of thy betters, mortal. Kala's rage is awesome to behold. Let not thyself be found in its path. Hey, thank you for the information. Last blessing upon thee, Lord. Give me some That's not pleasurable at all. <laughs> oh, peasants, right. Peasants. That was an unpleasant slave. <laughs> yeah. Unpleasure? Unpleasure slave. She displeasured me. <laughs> Displeasure slave. What's up, peasants? Hey, we dude. Find the word eventually. You mustn't we attack me. She's pretty insistent. Peasant has nothing to say to me, just attacks me. That's it, she peasant. <laughs> Oh, it's an orc. 
Okay, Tobacco. I guess I'll hit this one then. No regrets. Oh. That one's an orc Friendship. Too. This one is also an orc. Friendship? These ones give experience. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give Minsk a little bit. Hey, I found a sword. The ogre's sword. Give me it's probably best left to me. They are, sir. I am ready. Hey, Mr. Ogre, we got a sword. Let's just finish casting that spell. You have the key! Or, or rather, the sword! Please, please give it to me, and, and I can be rid of this illusionary form at last! You're gonna hand the sword to the big ogre. <laughs> Not so fast. How much will you give me for it? <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, as you wish. I thank you for your trust. This sword, it is actually the key that unlocks the chains that power... that powers my horrible illusion. Oh, she's a woman. She didn't lie. My skin, it's real again. Oh, thank you, Beovar. But we must find Quail and stop Kala before he does any more harm. My mm. god, this person has a face. Oh, <laughs> it's an NPC. It's a wonky face. Yeah, it's we'll a face all the other the NPCs. Um... She spoke this. I guess, wait here then? What do you guys think about that? I don't know. Yeah. I guess. Do you want to take her instead of... Well, what is she? I don't even know what she is. She's a mage. She's a cleric mage. Oh, that sounds nice. I could play a cleric mage, if we, unless we need to keep Minsk. Uh, if you're gonna go with Arya, you may as well go with Arya and Minsk. I'd rather... I mean, but I, I kind of want to keep Yorg. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Org. <laughs> what do you think, Jason? What do you guys think? Take her or nay? I mean, she'd also... I could drop Jahira to get her. Yeah, she'd probably be better than Jahira as well. Alright, join with us and we will search for him together in this place. Somebody? Oh, you would let me join you? Oh, alright. I'll come. Let's find Quail. Who knows what they've done to him. I think you should know, Ari, that my, <laughs> ultimate, know how to read that. my ultimate goal is to rescue a friend of mine, Imwin, who has been captured by the cowled wizards. Could be dangerous. Oh, I would be glad to help you. Truly, I would. But we simply must help Uncle Quail first. We must. Bye, Jahira. Good luck mourning over Khalid. With no friends. This group is yeah. yours to reform as you see fit. Though dropping me for another does not seem like the wisest choice. I will abide by your decision, though. Anyway. I cannot stay here, however. It will probably be in Athkatla, as the Harpers have a base of sorts within. If you can find it, that's where I'll be. Okay. Yes. Faster than Chiktika, faster. Uh, so... This is going to... John, you want to play this cleric mage? I mean, I can do that or play Minsk. I can keep, like. What do you guys think? To, it's up to Jason, really. Oh, Jason, okay. you want Minsk or Ari? I'll give Jason uh, Minsk because it's a little easier. I'll take Minsk. Yeah. All right, and maybe we'll cut this, cut this episode here as well before it gets uh, too long, and then we'll finish this illusory circus of lies in the next episode. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching our Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition, and we will see you in the next episode. Cheers. Bonsoir. Bye-bye.